Our bodies are made up of 60 to 70 percent water. So for an average person, that translates to 40 litres of fluid represented in this tank. Now, a patient with severe cholera could lose up to one litre of fluids every hour. And it's not long before this sort of fluid loss causes problems. After losing just about one or two litres, the patient will begin to feel mild symptoms. So they'll have a dry mouth, they'll feel thirsty. And once they've lost four litres of fluids, the symptoms will have become moderately severe. So the patient could feel weak and dizzy and have neurological symptoms like confusion. Cellular functions in the body begin to be compromised. The immune system isn't working properly. And by the time they've lost eight litres of water, that's just 20% of body fluids, the organs will have shut down quickly, leading to death. So without treatment, a cholera patient could be dead in less than a day. The other reason why cholera can be so devastating is that for as long as a patient is infected, every drop of fluid that's passed is brimming with bacteria. Just one milliliter of fluid, just this amount here, contains a billion cholera bacteria. So it's easy to see how easily infection can spread and how one case can turn into 12 and then 100 in a matter of hours. Jon Snow might get the accolade for identifying cholera as a waterborne disease, but the real heroes of our clean water systems are the civil engineers who design our sanitation plants and use the element chlorine injected into our water systems, just as in Zatari, to destroy pathogens like cholera. So, Nick, the last outbreak of cholera in this country was in 1866. Mm. Is there any chance at all that it could happen again here? The tragedy of cholera, of course, is very treatable. So if you have clean water and you have those systems in place, you can treat it, you can contain it. Of course, just like any other place, any war zone, any place where you have a natural disaster, if all of those systems broke down, then cholera could, can take hold in, and in the UK like anywhere else. But of course, the likelihood of that happening here is incredibly remote. I mean, we've had recent floodings and no cholera.